What's going on YouTube? This is David here from jailbreaky.com. Today I'm going to show you guys an upcoming highly anticipated tweak called VLOX2. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the settings application and you will see that it says VLOX, VLOX2 by Philip Tannen. So there is an enabled and disabled switch which is always great to see. Unfortunately though, in order for that to work, you will actually have to respring as well as any changes that you actually make in the settings application. We also have an auto close functionality as well as different activation methods. So right now by default, swiping up on an icon will actually launch the VLOX view. You you can swipe down an icon, double tap on an icon, triple tap on an icon, or hold on an icon and it will go ahead and activate. You can go ahead and customize those to your liking. Uh, there's also a dark mode, which I actually have enabled, as well as plug-in preferences. So when this does touch down on Cydia, which should be fairly soon, uh, there will be a bunch of different plugins that you can install. For example, like an Instagram VLOX view, a Snapchat VLOX view, a bunch of different things like that. Um, so yeah, so that's where you can uh, go ahead and access that, as well as a VLOX view for app, uh, you know, section. So this is basically where you can, uh, uh, you know, just go ahead and tweak different things. So if we went into VLOX camera, for example, uh, this is, you know, something that has, you know, a, a little VLOX view, but say I wanted to keep that, I could go ahead and keep that as VLOX camera, but we can, you know, an app that doesn't have a view, uh, you know, for example, like the Apple Watch, like I said, uh, I could just, you know, keep that back on uh, notification view. So anyway, we can also lock different views uh, with Touch ID and or passcode. I don't have Touch ID obviously because I do have an iPhone 5, so I don't have a Touch ID sensor, but you can actually go ahead and create a passcode. So I can make it one, two, three, four if I wanted to, even though that would be a terrible passcode to use. Um, but yeah, so basically this is just the credits for the tweak and all of that. So yeah, this tweak is really, really cool, but you guys don't even really know what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do right now is we're gonna go ahead and swipe up on the camera app. So let's go ahead and do that. And sometimes it takes a little while to actually work uh, because sometimes if you're not doing it straight on, it won't actually work. So now we're gonna go ahead and swipe up. As you guys can see, here is the camera VLOX view. So if I go ahead and rotate the camera around, you're gonna see me. So here I am, <laughs> I'm gonna pan the camera over. Here I am, I'm gonna wave. Um, and yeah, so here I am. And now I can actually go ahead and just take a picture if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And once I go ahead and uh, take that picture, if I launch the camera app, there it is. There's the picture I just took. Ugh, I could, I could definitely, you know, I could, I've definitely had better days of taking pictures. All right, guys. So now we're actually going to show you another VLOX view. So if I go ahead and swipe up on another application, such as the settings app, it's actually going to give me three different options, which are reboot, respring, and lock device. So if I go ahead and tap lock device. Oops, let's do that again. Lock device. There you go. And another, you know, one of the reasons why I actually did that you know, weird animation is I do have Spring to Mize 3 installed, but it did successfully lock our device. Uh, another really cool thing is if I swipe up on Safari, I do get this little, uh, this cool little, you know, Safari view. So if I wanted to go ahead and let's say, uh, you know, not to be biased or anything, let's say I wanted to go ahead and go on YouTube, youtube.com and go ahead and I don't know if you see where I'm going with this, uh, but go ahead and search for my name. So Mac Tutorials 14. Uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Nope, I just searched for Mac tutorials. My bad. I have to put 14 there. 14. Uh, nope. Okay, well, it, sa it says it anyway. Okay, so Mac tutorials 14. There I am. And I can just go ahead and go into videos. And let's go ahead and uh, here's my How Does Jailbreak iOS 8.4 video. So if I go ahead and launch that, and I can just go ahead and watch it. So it's really, really cool. Um, and, you know, while you can't really like detach it, uh, you know, with this tweak itself, it is pretty cool. So yeah, and you could just tap the screen to get back to the way it was. So that's really, really cool. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is swipe up on the calculator app. So the calculator app does have a really cool calculator widget. So there it is, it has a nice little widget slash view, I guess you should say. And so if we went ahead and did one plus one, even though I don't know why you would do that, uh, maybe if you're like in kindergarten and you don't know simple addition facts, maybe you'd wanna look you know, to see what one plus one was. 
Uh, but, you know, and if you wanted to do zero divided by zero, just because, uh, you know, of that Siri joke, if you haven't seen that floating around on Twitter, uh, and I'll tell you that it's zero, and I'll tell you now. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, it's pretty cool. So now I'm actually just going to go ahead and swipe up on Twitter to make a Vlox view for Twitter. And uh, now for whatever reason, this is actually broken. So I'm just going to type in test. Um, and hopefully when this does launch on the Big Boss repo, hopefully this will be fixed. Uh, but you guys can see as many times as I'm pressing tweet, it's not going through. And I can just press return and you guys can see the character limit is going down. So that's working. So it's registering the fact that I'm actually, you know, making stuff and I'm actually, you know, typing. But if I go into the Twitter application and I go up and I go to me, there is no tweet, you know, on there that says test. So it didn't go through. So for whatever reason, Twitter does not work with Vlox right now, but hopefully that should be fixed soon. So now we're just going to go ahead and check out another uh, Vlox view. So now we're going to go ahead and swipe up on maps, as you guys can see. And so this is really just the same thing as the default maps app. So here we go. We can zoom in. Let's say we wanted to zoom in on like Portland, Oregon, let's just say for whatever reason. So just because I was around that area in the map. So we can zoom in and look and, you know, we can do a bunch of all that other stuff. It's basically like the application, but it's not the application because you don't actually have to fully open the application to be able to access it. So another thing I noticed is if you actually swipe, uh, I wanted to show you guys, if you swipe up on an application that does not have a view, it will say no new notifications. So we did messages, we did health. So now we're just gonna go ahead and swipe up on the Apple Watch app and it says no new notifications. And then if we go ahead and swipe up on the notes app you guys can see we do have a vlox view so this is actually really cool because i'm just gonna you know do this with dictation and because you know for time and i don't really feel like you know letting you guys hear this because it sounds a little bit better if it's like this but uh you know i'm speaking with dictation right now but you guys actually can't hear it uh you guys actually can't hear me speaking dictation uh so it says testing out something really cool right now this tweak looks you know really nice so i went ahead and saved it and says vlox note 1032 there it is it says testing out something really cool right now this looks like a very neat jailbreak tweak and then here I said, this is a test, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And that was my first time testing it out. So it does actually work, which is really cool. Now, uh, here is the App Store, uh, you know, Vlox view. And it, you know, I'm not going to really show that to you but guys because I think there are a couple of bugs on that. Um, but basically, for the most part, like if you want to just do Periscope, for example, you can put in the search bar Periscope and it should, you know, in theory, it should redirect straight to Periscope. It should search for Periscope and redirect straight to there. So to save time, I'm not going to show you guys that. But if you actually go ahead and try to launch a Vlox view with either weather or the clock application, you will get a really weird bug. So I don't know what's causing this. And I try to ask uh, you know, I tried to reach out to some of the devs and they didn't really answer me back about this, you know, particular bug. Uh, so if I swipe up on clock, you guys can see, boom, it just randomly puts me in safe mode. You guys can't see it right now, but it's respringing and then it's respringing me into safe mode. So for whatever reason, I don't know why there should be a Vlox view for the clock. And if you actually go into the settings and look, uh, as well as for the weather application, if you go into the settings and look for both of them, it does say that they both have a Vlox view. So maybe for whatever reason right now, something in 8.4 is conflicting with it. So I'm not really 100% sure, again, what is causing these issues. Hopefully the developers come up with a fix for it fairly soon. But anyway, nonetheless, this is a really cool tweak and it has been highly anticipated. So for those of you who have been biting your nails on the edge of your seat, just waiting to use this, this tweak has been submitted and it should be touching down really soon on Big Boss. So anyway, if we go ahead and go into the city of Vlox view, you guys can see it says Watchboard, uh, home screen replacement, uh, you know, inspired by Apple Watch. And if I tap on that, it's going to bring uh, up the little page in Safari. And if I go ahead and open it, uh, you know, in Cydia, it's going to go ahead and open right to Watchboard. It says Watchboard by Aaron Ash. Um, so there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. This is a tweak called Vlox2. It's an upcoming tweak that brings about an incredible new way to use your apps. It's developed by Philip Tenen. It has been submitted and will be available very soon on the Big Boss repo. The price has not yet been decided. It will be a paid jailbreak tweak. 
I worked really hard on this, so please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow me on Twitter to get notified about when I upload a new video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you in the next one. This is David, signing out. Peace. Thank you.